Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I am here to bring you the five major differences between the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. Now, it's been a few days now removed from the unpacked announcement. I really wanted to make sure I had all of these right and kind of emphasize the main differences and how these will impact your overall experience. So let's get to it. So first of all, the battery. The battery is the first major difference and it's 4,300 milliamps versus 4,500 milliamps with the Ultra having the bigger size. Now, the biggest thing about this is it's a bigger battery overall. Now, when we get to the screen size, you'll notice it's a slightly bigger screen. So overall, I will say that this won't affect too much really. It, really isn't going to affect the battery life too much because the phones are slightly bigger and smaller and also the screen technology is a bit different too so i think for the overall difference in terms of your usage i don't think this will really matter too much but it is one of the differences 4300 milliamps versus 4500 milliamps now the next one is going to be design now what really surprised us was that samsung used different materials for the back of these two phones so first and foremost the back of the note 20 is going to be plastic whereas the note 20 ultra is going to be glass now that is really surprising and especially because no samsung flagship has had plastic since i think the galaxy s5 five was the last time that that happened so it really was a huge difference for us to go from that of the s5 and the note 4 era to plastic the bigger miss that i think samsung could have taken a huge opportunity with is to bring back the leather backing a lot of people hold the note 4 as one of the best if not the best galaxy note there's ever been and one of the things was that just that leather black even though it was fake leather just felt really good and it was something that really just a lot of people like if they would have brought that back i think you would have had a lot less pushback and it could have been seen as a good alternative to glass as opposed to having a plastic that we now associate with budget and really entry-level phones because even budget phones usually have glass now this was a really big miss i think for samsung in terms of opportunity as well as just something that is not going to make customers feel good just because they really are going to be surprised that they are getting plastic instead of glass as soon as they hold the phone. I think that is going to be a bigger kind of like you cut too much cost just for your own benefit, which again, they did. It's, it's the same price, if not $50 cheaper as compared to last year's Note 10, but it's still just going to be seen as a negative, um, unfortunately, because they didn't take the leather route. Now, the next major difference is going to be in the cameras, and there's two main differences here. The Note 20 has a 12 megapixel camera with a dual pixel focus. The Note 20 Ultra is going to have a 108 megapixel camera with a laser sensor focus. Now, overall, dual pixel is still going to be faster, but that 108 megapixel camera on the Note Ultra is faster than the S20 Ultra phase detection focus. Here's the thing about the 108 megapixel too. It's going to give you this really nice depth effect. If the focus has gotten better, it will really pop and stand out for all of your shots. So it could be really amazing. We'll have to wait to see it to get it in before we can give our final verdict. The telephoto camera though is very special because although you have a 64 on the Note 20 and only a 12 megapixel on the Ultra, there's a major difference. And that is the Ultra has a five times optical zoom whereas the 64 megapixel has no optical zoom. It actually says this kind of misleading thing instead of hybrid optical zoom, it says hybrid optic zoom. So yes, it doesn't actually have a optical zoom, which means on the Ultra, you can zoom into 5X, have no loss of quality. On the 64 megapixel camera, it will lose quality pretty much as soon as you get past 2X because you are literally just stretching out to the camera and that's it. Then we get to the screen, which this year has been really controversial, apparently. So the Note 20 has a display that is a 6.7 inch display, 1080p, which is pretty much the same as we got last year, but this year it still only has a 60 hertz screen, which having the lower resolution and the 60 hertz display has really surprised a lot of people just because there's so many 90 and 120 hertz displays now. However, the Ultra keeps the 6.9 inch 1440p or 1080p with 120 hertz display that you can get on the Note 
20 Ultra as well as the S20 Ultra. So a lot of people are upset about this too, just because they were like, hey, why didn't we get both? I don't see it as that big of a deal, but the bigger deal is the difference that the $1,000 Note 20 doesn't at least have a 90 Hertz refresh rate. That is what a lot of people were asking for and they didn't even get that. So I can see why some people are upset, especially since you know other phones like the S20 Plus still got it, but this model didn't. So again, I completely understand why people are upset about it, but it is something that if you do want a higher refresh rate screen, you're not gonna get it with the Note 20 at all. And then we have another difference, and that was again, started last year, but it's still surprising that it happened again this year. So this year, the Note 20, instead of starting at 256 as the Note 10 did last year, starts at 128 and still does not have a micro SD card. That is pretty surprising to me just because when I thought they started at 128, I thought they would at least bump up with a memory card at the entry price, they didn't. You can only find that on the Ultra. So the Ultra will also start at 128 in the US, some countries it starts at 256, but it will have a micro SD card as well. So those are going to be another set of differences that are really gonna kind of, you know, get people one way or another because some people want a bigger storage, some people want to be able to expand their storage and you can't do it on the Note 20. So let me know guys, out of these five major differences, are these features that you are disappointed in does it make you want one phone over the other or does it make you want neither of them? Let me know in the comment section down below and we will be doing a video on the Note 10 versus the Note 20 and if you're really getting an upgrade. Stay tuned for that one and make sure to subscribe. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here and of course, check out our latest video up there and right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.